Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic. And today I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown on the things that you might need to know with BTS's upcoming tour. BTS is about to embark on their stadium tour called Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, which is about to start in about two weeks. But since these are stadiums and not theaters or arenas, there are a few different rules and things you should know before you go into this concert. So I'm going to be hitting on some general rules that you should keep in mind for just going to concerts in general, but I'm also going to be focusing on this specific tour and the things that it will entail. So the first thing that I'm gonna mention is one of those general items, and that is where to stay. Whenever you are going to a concert, and in particular this one, you generally want to stay not too far from the venue. I know people that have stayed quite f a bit further away and you have to take a much longer journey to get to your location. I've stayed at home in Jersey and traveled into shows for New York. And when you do things like this, you have to make sure that you allot additional time so that way you can make it in time before you want to arrive at the actual venue. So if you were from out of town, I would recommend that you stay as close as possible because it also reduces the risk of getting lost. And say that you are staying further away or even if you are staying close like I think that you should, you still need to know when you need to arrive. And this will vary for different concerts, but in the case of Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, the entire venue is seated. There is no GA, so there is no reason to get there super early if you have no intention of buying merch or anything of the like. If you're just going to enjoy the show, show up maybe an hour too early, but you really don't need to get there prior to that. However, keep in mind that this is a stadium the location is larger, it will take longer for you to get to your actual spots. There will be more people parking that could back up traffic. So also keep those things in mind as well, unless you are Ubering in, in which case you just get dropped off right in front and then there you are and that's about it. So that being said, you wanna make sure that you don't leave too late. Give yourself some extra padding time. If you know it's going to take you a half an hour to get to the venue and you know that you wanna be there an hour early, don't just leave an hour and a half early, leave maybe two hours early so that way you have the time to get yourself settled and in case something goes wrong, you're not backed up too much. But that said, there's no need to get there super, super early since it's all seated. If you are going to be parking make sure that you bring cash. At some locations, when you go to park, you can pay with a card or some places I've even on occasion seen mobile pay, but generally, rule of thumb, bring cash. They will always take the cash and you will be guaranteed that you'll be able to pay to park in case cash is the only thing that you can bring. I've had parking that's as cheap as $5, but I've also had parking that is $20. These are stadiums. I'm not entirely sure what stadium parking is um, as the stadiums that I've been to when well, I haven't had to pay. And at most theaters, it's about $20 max. But like I said, it could be potentially more. So I would just be on the safe side, bring $40 in cash. And if it's less than that, then you just have some extra cash on you. Now, one of the things that's going to determine when you are going to arrive is going to be merch. If you decide that you want to purchase merch, you will need to arrive early. As far as light sticks, typically with BTS concerts, when the doors open, merch inside, you can purchase light sticks and usually batteries, and that's it. Any other merch you will need to purchase ahead of time whenever they decide that the merch line will open. I cannot tell you what time that will be specifically. For the last two tours, that has been in the well before the concert starts and it ends before the concert starts as well, before the doors open typically. 
So if you are planning on buying merch, you will want to get there early. On top of this, just because the line open for merch starts at say 11 a.m., that does not mean that you should arrive at 11 a.m. depending on what you're going to get. Certain items are not going to run out, like light sticks and certain merch items on the list, depending on what it is. They won't likely run out, but there are many items that will run out. For example, the t-shirts, they tend to run out very quickly. Ball caps tend to run out very quickly. So certain items tend to run out quickly, and this might not entirely be because of people buying a lot of them, but I think it's also partially the total stock that they have. Because of the fact that they don't bring as many, people tend to buy them, and then more people jump on buying them faster as well. So it ends up creating this supply and demand effect where certain items tend to run out very quickly, but not everything does. So right now, as of when I'm filming this, we do not know exactly what will be the merch items, if there will even be merch at all. If there is, then I suggest that you arrive hours ahead of time. Now, when I say this, you also need to be careful because numerous of the stadiums have stated already that there will be no camping. Now, no camping is almost always said and it is almost always ignored. Um, and they say no camping for the reason that it is a liability. If they tell you that there's no camping and then something happens, that removes them of liability of what's going on. However, if they say you can camp and then something terrible ends up happening, that is on their heads. So a venue is almost never going to tell you that you can camp. That said, depending on the venue, you may or may not have a place where you can line up near where the official line will begin or what. And we can't know exactly just yet. Usually this information comes out more and lines change even as you're waiting. So I do recommend that you arrive early. For the last tour for Love Yourself, I arrived at the line at, I believe I got there at 6.30, I believe. And it didn't open until I think it was 11 a.m. that it opened at the show I went to. So I was there for about five hours ahead of time. I was running a go, which I will be running a go for this time as well, if there is merch. Um, so I needed to make sure that I was there early enough that I'd be able to purchase items. And if you want specific items, items that many people want, you may wanna make sure that you get there a little bit early. Now let's move on to what to actually bring to the show. For the most part, I highly recommend that you try to bring as few things as possible. Chances are you're either gonna be driving in and you're gonna be parking your car or you're gonna be staying in a hotel. Because of that, I highly recommend that you leave as much stuff out of your hands, off of your person as possible. This helps going through security go much, much, much faster. Personally, I bring a charging cable, my charging bank, my phone, my wallet, and sometimes a pen. That's it. I don't bring anything else. My keys, if I drove, that's all. Nothing else. Because beyond that, you're just bringing in extra things that you really don't need. Um, and there are some things that can make that break that exception, so a few things, but you want to limit the number of things that you're bringing in. Also make sure that you check the prohibited items list and make sure that what you would like to bring is not completely against the rules. Cause you don't want to have bring, try to bring something in and then tell you no. Also, the biggest thing about this and the whole reason why I decided to make this video is because I'm not sure if everybody knows that these are stadiums and there are stadium rules. Stadium rules pretty much across the board are clear bags. 
There are specific dimensions that your bag can be as well. So you need to make sure that your bag fits these qualifications. If you have a small clutch, generally those can be solid and you don't have to worry about it. But pretty much anything larger than about your hand, if it's larger than that, just Imagine that you would need to get a bag to put it in and that bag has to be clear. Just for reference, this is the bag that I ended up using last year for the Love Yourself Tour. I did go to the Fort Worth location, which does follow stadium rules, even though it's not actually a stadium. And I did have to have a clear bag. You could not enter the Fort Worth venue without a clear bag. So this is my clear bag. It's just, it's literally a purse. And this is what I can fit all my stuff in it and I have extra room. It's more than enough and you just wanna make sure you get yourself a bag. But stadium rules do apply that you can have a backpack too. If it is a backpack, it does have to meet certain dimensions. So look up your particular venue and it will have the specific dimensions for your venue because you don't want to get turned away because your clear bag is too big either. One other thing that I would recommend that you bring are batteries for your light stick. If you are bringing a light stick, make sure you bring the batteries and keep them out. So I, so many of you are going to bring a light stick or purchase a light stick and you can bring your light stick into the venues. So make sure that you do have your light stick. But my pro tip is do not keep the batteries within your light stick. So when you open up the light stick, there is a battery casing and that battery casing can be popped out and not actually plugged directly into the light stick. Do not just keep the batteries in that popped out of the light stick. It will still drain. The batteries will still drain. I learned this from experience last tour you have to take the batteries entirely out of the little carrier and once it's out of the carrier it doesn't really matter if you keep it the carrier inside the light stick or not but make sure you do not leave the batteries inside don't do it if you do have the version 3 light stick then you can go ahead and start pairing your light stick ahead of time um, however, you can only do it but so far ahead of time, and I don't believe that they've updated the app with the new dates yet. I have to actually check, but you will want to make sure that you have the app and the light stick. Another tip that you might want, um, another reason why you might need a charger for your phone, is that the actual light stick connects via Bluetooth. In order for it to have the light control and not just be the solid white light like the older light sticks, it needs to be connected to that Bluetooth. If you turn your phone into airplane mode to say save battery, it will shut off your Bluetooth and the Bluetooth will stop working and you will have to resync. So you wanna make sure that you have the light stick turned on and that you have it able to connect to its Bluetooth connector. So just keep that in mind. And those are all the main things that I really thought about when I was doing this video. If you have any other questions, please go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I've been to more BTS shows than I would care to admit at this point and I will continue to go. But if you have any questions or if you are looking to potentially join the Merch Go, which I will be doing as long as there is merch that is announced. Hopefully within the next few days, we will hear something. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.